Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The curse of Oak Island discovery could be biggest ever in treasure hunts history. A discovery made on the next episode of The Curse of Oak Island could be the biggest ever find in the history of the legendary treasure hunt. It has been revealed. According to history, the potentially game-changing discovery is made by Rick Legina and metal detecting expert Gary Drayton and is thought to be an item in the shape of a cross which the pair were shown finding among rocks on the shore of Oak Island at the end of the latest episode. When it was handed to Rick by Gary, he said, I've seen that shape before in the Templar prison in France. A close-up was then shown of one of the engravings made by imprisoned Templar knights at the guardhouse in Dom, France, which was visited by Rick last episode. It featured a figure in the shape of a cross, the scene where the item is found also features in a new sneak peek for next week's episode, which is titled The Signs of a Cross, where Gary hands Rick the object saying, What the heck is this? Holy schmoly, all right. The pair are then seen high-fiving by the water's edge, before Gary tells Rick, We might have just made history. In a separate scene, Marty Legina is seen saying, This is incredible. He adds, it fits in every aspect. It's thought the item is the same mysterious medieval cross, referenced in the description for the episode that airs in two weeks' time, titled Moving Targets. The team unearths a ship's log detailing the burial of treasure on an island eerily similar to Oak Island, and Rick and Gary make what may prove to be the biggest find on Oak Island ever. Further investigation suggests a link between the mysterious medieval cross and the Knights Templar. The sneak peek at the end of the latest episode showed local area historian Doug Crowell talking about the ship's log mentioned above, which read, It has been agreed that a deep pit be dug and treasures securely buried, the pit to have a secret entrance by tunnel from the shore. We also saw footage of a conversation which revealed that the huge 50 in Kaysen, the team are drilling down into what they believe is the original money pit, hit something at 170 feet underground. That is just below the level of where they believe the so-called Chapel Vault, a supposed vault uncovered by previous treasure hunters William Chapel and Frederick Blair in 1897, could lie. The new trailer for the next episode also includes footage of the same scene, where the caisson is said to be sitting on a flat, hard surface. Marty Legina is heard saying, This could be the vault. At the site, Marty Legina is also seen asking Brother Rick, How are you feeling? Rick says, Nervous. He adds in an interview with producers, After all of the work that we've done, this is the culmination.